I got pregnant before my sister-in-law, and now she's furious. We haven't had one of these in a while. I love these are bangers. I love these. This is the answer. How do you deal with high maintenance family members? And it comes from awkward item 443. I, 26 female, have been with my boyfriend, 27 male, for three years now. He has an older brother, 31 male, who has a girlfriend, 30 female. A lot of characters. Wow. Um, they've been together for seven years, minus the six-month breakup they had over the last summer. They have together a long time. Thus, a big enough breakup that she moved out of their house. They got back together just before Christmas. I have an amazing relationship with my boyfriend's family. I get along perfect with his parents, brothers, and even his grandparents. The sister-in-law is the only one in my family I can't seem to get along with. And I think OP puts... Sister-in-law in quote because they're not, not yet. married yet. Okay. My mother-in-law has never liked her and always had a bad feeling about her, uh, even more so after they got back together. My sister-in-law acts extremely jealous of the way my boyfriend treats me. Huh? He always makes jokes that I get what I want. My boyfriend <laughs> loves to spoil me and we have a more traditional relationship where he is responsible for finances and I'm responsible for maintaining the home. Trad wife alert. Beer, beer, beer. <laughs> um, <laughs> her boyfriend makes her split everything 50 50. She also copies me all the time now. What? Huh? what does that mean? <laughs> it started with small things like trying to get the same shampoo and conditioner I use, buying my signature perfume scents. She's now made it a point to take on some of my hobbies she never showed interest in. Or even made fun of me for enjoying. Are you making her a better person? Yeah, this is this is crazy. But it's a sister-in-law. Like my my thought at first was, oh, you want you want to get with Opie's husband, but it's your sister-in-law, so Opie's husband is the brother. I'll be honest. I was uh, texting for Sam's food when you said that, and I'm still going to be texting. That. He's fighting no. for Sam's food. I need some conspiracy theories right now in the chat. Okay. Run conspiracy back theory? Me. Basically, it's just conspiracy theory. Sweet home Alabama. But it's the sister-in-law, right? No. It's the sister-in-law. Why is she trying to copy? Because she thinks the... Let me be more the like scent, the sister. The shampoo? The conditioner? I mean, yeah, that's a good... Damn. Damn. I read Reddit stories, John, for a living. You freaking do, and you're just literally the greatest on earth. Guys, put hearts in the chat for Riley because he's the greatest producer anyone could ever ask for, and I love him! Okay. So now she likes reading, thrifting, collecting crystals, and is now interested in going to car meets that she used to hate. My boyfriend bought me a Lexus that he modified for our anniversary, and when she totaled her car, she got herself a Lexus that she wanted to make look and sound like mine. Maybe she just likes her. May maybe. Oh, she's. This is this is nuts. Oh, Trisha D. Conspiracy theory. That was my other one. Sister in law husband is into OP. So she's like, why don't you be more like her? Why don't you have cool cars? Why don't you smell nice? Southern accent. Dude, she crushed it. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is this is whack, bro. Kind of insane. She even threw a fit over wanting to buy my stock wheels. For the most part, I can look past her actions and understand she clearly has some insecurity issues that she's dealing with. Jump to January, me and my boyfriend found out that I'm pregnant. Yay! It was unplanned and my IUD came out without me knowing, but we both knew we wanted children and we're so happy with the news. His parents were the first people we told and they were happy as this is their first grandchild. Aww. Once we got a few appointments in, we decided to start telling more family. We started with the older brother and his girlfriend. Brother-in-law was so happy for us. However, his girlfriend's reaction was giving me the dirtiest looks I've ever been on the receiving end. <laughs> Savage! Ah. Oh. That was funny. She then left to go drink alone at the bar at the bowling alley where we were at. <laughs> Grow up! Grow up! Not the bowling alley bar. <laughs> Come on. That's so sad. That's pathetic. <laughs> she had an attitude all night and didn't say a single word to me besides bye as we left. The next day, she sent my boyfriend a long message apologizing. She told him about her struggle with um, endometriosis. 
um, which everyone knew about and just turned the situation to be about her feelings in the moment of her being sad and angry. It's not her who's pregnant. That is very good context. And I could understand someone, you know, that's been trying. I get been feeling wanting. a lot of pain, a lot of pain for that. I don't know that it's fair to take it out on someone, but I think like feeling that pain and I can understand kind of being that that is that is good context. I'm not evil. I feel for the girl, but the fact that she didn't apologize to me, uh, the one she directed all her actions to at pissed me off. It was my final straw. A few days later, I guess she noticed. She reached out to my boyfriend again and requested I unblock her so she could also apologize to me. After reading what she had to say, I lost it again. I didn't hold back and told her how self-centered she has been and I'm done playing into her victim mentality and making everything about her. Ooh! Ooh! It went back and forth for the day. Honestly, it felt good to just tell her off after years of dealing with her messy behavior. We say hi to each other at family dinner every Sunday, but nothing more for now. I want to take a quick pause in the story right here. I don't know where this is coming from. It seems like maybe there is a everyone's the a-hole case here, possibly. Mm. I think it's like she's kind of given her, she's like copied her over all these years. And now that, uh, you know, she, she uh, OP is pregnant and having a baby, she's kind of taking it out on her and, and, and being rude to her. Um, but then OP is snapping back pretty hard. Um, she didn't, she, I believe she didn't apologize to her directly, I believe. Yeah. Um, that she apologized instead to OP's boy. Yeah. The next day she sent my boyfriend a long message apologizing. So she was like, hey, why don't you just apologize to me yeah. directly? Like, why, why, why did you why did you send a message to me through my boyfriend to apologize? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, and we didn't get the actual message, the, the, the latest message, I believe. But And the boyfriend is his sister, right? Like, they're yeah. related. So let me, let me. Because yeah. that makes kind of sense. We need the whiteboard. Oh, boy. The breakdown is we have um, OP. Okay. We have um, boyfriend. Boyfriend. Sister in law. Sister in law. Yeah. Uh, Jelly being the turtle, the sister in law equals the girlfriend's girlfriend of OP's brother's brother. brother. What? Wait, say that again. The girlfriend of OP's boyfriend's brother. Yeah, the girlfriend. So a boyfriend's brother, girlfriend. Yeah, the yeah. OP's yeah, boyfriend's yeah, yeah. brother's girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, so yeah, the, the, brother-in-law's oh, 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 so the boyfriend uh, like is, is connected to the brother. So the br their brother, two brothers and their girlfriends. Two brothers and their girlfriends. Got it. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. I think I'm close. Because Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's none see of it. the people are related to... Uh, right? Where'd the mother-in-law come from? She was mentioned there somewhere. <laughs> okay. She was in there somewhere. So... OP and BF. So BF and sister. I'm okay. All of these people are connected. All of these people are dating. Yes. The ones directly connected. This might be more confusing than it is helpful. So I'm going to put this yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> two brothers are dating two girls and the girls are having issues. Or yeah. No one, no one is related to OP. Yeah. No, 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 no. That is what we know so far. Chat, please tell me if we're correct. <laughs> Um, please. Okay, so fast forward about three months and she texts me one morning asking about my pregnancy. I respond thinking maybe she's trying to come around and make an effort to be a decent human being after some self-reflecting. I should have known uh, it was a turn to the conversation around to be about herself. Of course. She wanted me to, to be the first to know that she found out that she was pregnant that very morning. Revenge pregnancy? Spite, spite, <laughs> spite baby? Um, she also told me about every single vitamin she took, along with what she made brother-in-law take, and about all the tricks and tests she took leading up to the positive one. Tips and tricks? I feel like it's like, it's, it's low-key like, look at all the things I'm doing. Are you doing it? 
Uh, like I'm better than you. Your baby's gonna be malnourished, and my <laughs> baby's gonna have a 401k, 720 <laughs> credit score, and six foot five. Yeah, six, uh, six five, blue eyes, blonde, trust fund. Exactly. She told me not to tell everyone, but I blew up and told my boyfriend along with my mother-in-law. Everyone is pissed. They agree that it was wrong for her to reach out to me first, and it was weird. It was weird of her to rush a pregnancy that she knows would be high risk. Oh. Right, because she is going, I believe she's going through IVF to, you know, gotcha. uh, help become, help fertilize the, the baby, which puts the pregnancy at risk of not continuing to birth. They still just got back together too. What were they thinking bringing a child back into the mix? I totally forgot that they're still like pretty newly back together. That's why. Dang. And dude, she, I see you this in the comments, but. She did that. That was the final thing missing so she could be like OP. This is crazy. Why is she going this far? And why is she this jealous? It's, it is kind of terrifying. Naja says uh, she's not fit to be a parent if she's being this petty. Trisha D said, I hope the baby doesn't come out 6'5 if she ever wants to walk again. <laughs> Great point, Trisha. <laughs> I mean, it would probably explode out of her stuff. Before before she would even have the chance to attempt to deliver the baby. Oh my god. Oh gosh. man, I see you baby trap. Dude, I see you baby trap. That was Oh, but dude, but but she was trying she was going through um she was going through the process to be fertilized for the baby. Go ahead. Thank you, said this I see you baby trap. Thank you, Vix Mix. Here's the real thing. The sister, what's called let's give her a name. What name? What name? What name? Trisha. Trisha. Sorry, Trisha. <laughs> Trisha, the sister-in-law that is like being all wah 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 wah, wants to impress the family. Yeah. The brothers have a mother, and the mother is going to give them a ring to give to one of them. So she's competing. She's going through all of this so she can get the ring. And right. they know that OP is in the lead, so she's trying to be just like OP, if not better, and do that. Which is so crazy because it's like, okay, you want to be the B, the, the B League version of OP? Yeah, of course OP. A, OP is the A version of herself. Yeah. <laughs> so she's still going to win regardless. Like, But she's oh. trying to bring her down. Be like, I've done more. i put in the hours. I've ate the vitamins. Yeah. What have you been doing? Yeah. I have you even put the time in? I eat twice the vitamins. You go, you go make pottery. I make twice the pottery. You, oh. you go get a Lexus. I get two Lexus. <laughs> Ooh. Couldn't afford a car, so she named her daughter Alexis. Damn. Um, so, my mother-in-law has been planning my baby shower since we found out. I am due late September, and, uh, my, ba oh. and my shower is early August. Because I'm in, like, t September. <laughs> we will see. Maybe. The sister-in-law dropped a bomb at a family dinner last week that she's already sending her shower invites this week. She is planning a baby shower two weeks after mine, even though she is not due until the end of December. <laughs> Bro, I was, I was just about to say, well, you know, it is two weeks later, but the fact that it's literally so far away from the birth. Yeah. Oh, my God. This, is, this is so weird, dude. Now, sister-in-law is upset because my mother-in-law suggested that she wait until October or November to have her shower. Sister-in-law said she doesn't want to do that because people won't buy her as much around the holiday season. October? What holidays are in October? No, no, no. Uh, the mother-in-law was saying that she should move it to October or November. Yeah, October's she fine. November? I see your point. October? Well, she wants to move it because that's uh, too... She, she's like, don't do oh. October or November because yes. no one buys anything. Yeah, it's like, yeah, people are not... You won't get less... Christmas presents, like or Christmas shower, baby shower presents, because it's October. Like, what are you yeah. talking about? Um, so, now I'm up to speed. Uh, my biggest fear is her using my baby shower to announce to everyone that she is back and pregnant. Guys, marketing campaign. Guys, <laughs> we have seen this many, many times, more times than I would care to count. And guys, you always say, "Oh my gosh!" Like, who would do that? That's crazy. Don't say. Listen. Many people would and have done 
do that. <laughs> they might even be in your family and, will, and is planning on doing it now. They done diddly will ding dong do that. Okay. So just, just, just be ready. <laughs> um, Jelly Bus said, I would love to attend a Halloween baby shower. Fire! Halloween themed baby shower? I don't know why, but I would dress up as a T Rex. You could have, uh, what if you're a T Rex with like a pouch, a baby in like a T Rex pouch? Kangaroo. Yeah, I know. You just make a pouch for it. T-Rexes don't do that. You, they do now. That is not a marsupial, John. It's a baby Get shower. Get your marsupials right. I'll be a possum. I'll be a bat. I'll be a kangaroo. It's I'm a not going to be a fake <laughs> pretend marsupial T-Rex. Baby shower. I'll have him in a backpack on my back. <laughs> but he's not a marsupial, John. Have some imagination. That's all Platypus. <laughs> No, I don't mess with my marsupials, John. <laughs> it's okay, okay. I didn't know you were so passionate about them. I'll leave it alone. This fucking guy. <laughs> the- now, my brother-in-law is calling my father-in-law complaining that my mother-in-law is giving me all the attention and leaving sister-in-law out of her pregnancy uh, and isn't getting any attention from the family. How many lot? Take a shot every time I say in-law. Um, <laughs> am I the a-hole for getting pregnant first? That's literally impossible to be the a-hole for getting pregnant at any time frame. I think maybe the question is more like, is OP the a kind of like how she's treating uh, the sister-in-law with all this? Like, is she being too harsh? (sighs) Yeah, I I don't think so. I think that the sister-in-law, from everything we can see here, she has a pattern of behavior of like weirdly copying her and like, trying to uh, kind of make everything about her mm-hmm. at, at a minimum and take the spotlight at a, at a maximum. I don't think it's a unfounded fear that, um, that she might announce during her baby shower. Cause like she has her baby shower OPs and then sister-in-law is like, Hey guys, I'm pregnant too. Hooray. Let's celebrate me. And then like quote unquote steals people to her own baby shower in the next two weeks. Like, Hey, so here's my invites. I'll be passing them around. Like, bro, imagine being like, oh, this girl's here. Oh, man, now I have to go to her baby shower. Exactly. Yeah. And you can't, you dude, you can't dodge it. Can't yeah. dodge, especially if you're the grandmother of these brothers. Can't be having favorites. You can't have favorites. Dude, this, okay, story time. Ooh. This almost happened to me. Really? Yeah. So, Tell me. my mom, uh, was at a church and she announced the name that she was going to have me and she was like oh his name's going to be logan i think i'd be fire logan your name yeah so then this woman came up to her and was like oh my gosh no way i was going to be named going to name my kid logan because she was also pregnant at the time right and then she, my mom found another name he's like oh cameron i'm going to think about cameron and that lady same lady said oh i'm thinking about doing my kid's name as cameron too and then she like had another name or whatever then she found the name, my name, Riley. She's like, I'm not going to tell that lady that. Yeah. So she told the lady. The lady was like, oh, so what are you going to name your kid? And she was like, Casper. She's like, oh, uh, okay. So she basically like did that to her and Guys, got my name. W's, is your mom still in the chat? I hope so. W's in the chat for Riley's mom. Because, dude, dude, Riley's on, mom is a legend. Honestly, she really Riley's is. mom is a legend. <laughs> I love her. Dude. Yeah. Mrs. Wilson for the freaking win. W's in the chat. Yeah, W's but yeah, that, that almost happened to me, dude. That, that could be wild. Imagine me being Logan and then having some dude I went to church with also being Logan and then being competed against just like this. That would have been my life, John. Just an con- endless competition. Being Honestly, compared to. I could not imagine. I'm glad that happened because I couldn't imagine being anything other than. Yeah, me too. It is, it is literally the perfect name for you. It, dude, thank you. Mom did that. My mom did a good dude, job. Cr- and she spelled it. it right. Wow. <laughs> dude, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. No, you're not the a-hole for getting pregnant first. Yeah, you're not the a-hole for getting pregnant first. That's a guarantee. Um, and, you know, I, I think from everything we, we saw here, uh, she's, like, trying to steal the spotlight, do all these things. I, th- I think you're not the a-hole for wanting her to, like, you know, not try to steal the spotlight at your event, having, you know, asking for the mother-in-law, asking her to move it. Um, maybe she clapped back kind of hard, you know, maybe, maybe she, but she had to bro That yeah. girl was her this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you have to just kind of 
What, hey, give what it. does J. Cole say? I listened to it last night. What does J. Cole say? What does he say? Can you know what he says. Give me one, one time shame on you. Uh, no, no, no. The other one. The other one. Uh, get off my... Pee -pee. Oh, get off my... Pee -pee. <laughs> that's what she said. Hey, that motherfucker, get off my... Pee -pee. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the end of that story. By Dang. the way, we're live right now. So tap our profile. Uh, Do it. If only we could, like, had another story we could... Um, I have some fantastic... Tell me. You're being blessed with the presence of the queen. It's me! Whoa! That's right. That was... Sorry, I'm happy you're here. <laughs> Sorry. Right. What, what else am I supposed to do when the queen gets here? Oh, move. No, I'd get decapitated. You're right. True. I'd kill you for it. Straight to the guillotine. Off so true. Off with his head. You know? I don't want even want to see it. There we go. Um. All right. I think it's us too. But Riley, I'm there. Riley will confirm. Look, your legions are happy. They're happy. They're happy you're here. Ah, oh, thanks. Also, my uh, I thrifted this. Oh, that's yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Fire jacket, bro. Thanks. Nice. Thanks. Um, and Cor sister. yes, Courtney Brady says, "Do you guys all pick stories out? No, just me." <laughs> we forced Sophia to do it alone in a I hole sit, I in, sit a in a dungeon. Hole. I sit in a hole that they dug out for me in the backyard, and Sir? they go. Find stories. <gasps> Find stories, eh? And they poke me with a stick. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. I do it. Yeah, yeah. They used to do it, but now I'm the one that pokes. Yeah, with they, a stick. it's called delegation. That's right. All right, but let's delegate this story. Woo! My sister broke all my rules after I let her move in. This is her last chance, and this is an R slash OK story time. So <gasps> they keep coming. So they Victor, keep coming. Protect our our OP at all costs. Yes. Uh, by the way, you can join us live um, on YouTube every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just tap our profile. No, you can't. <gasps> Just kidding. Whoa, mixed messages. So Jayla PKM says, this is something I've been thinking about for a while. And I was watching a video and John said to write our long, juicy stories in. So here I am. Let's go! And here John is. Hi! I, 25 <laughs> female, younger sister, 21 female. Haven't spoken a word since December 2022. For confidentiality, I will call her Ariana. Uh, <laughs> where are you getting your names from, OP? I took her in after she asked me to take her in because CPS was in the picture. And at the time, mom was working night shift at a factory two hours away and wanted to move closer. And I understand why she didn't want to and it would help me financially out too. When she moved in November 2020, she was 17 and I was 19 going on 20. At first, it was great. She would go to school, work, had a social life, helped around the house. I thought everything was going great until it wasn't anymore. As time went on, I realized a lot of red flags. First, Ariana stopped waking up by herself to go to school slash online school. My partner would go and wake her up to help. Second, she would sneak out to, at night to go make bacon and eggs. I always asked her what her safe foods were to make food um, she would eat. Oh, after her confirmation, the results were wasted instead of eaten. Thirdly, I noticed she didn't shower because she started smelling. Fourth, conversations ended in, I understand it would be okay for a few days and she would revert back. As time went by, more red flags popped up. She wouldn't clean up her dishes she stopped cleaning her room. She would eat in her room while, when my partner and I wouldn't be home or we were sleeping. I noticed smells coming from her room and they were strong and foul and more. I thought she might be going through stuff and I suggested therapy, which she agreed, but never got to it. And when I would mention it, she would blur burst into a rage and lock herself in her room. When she would be calm, I tried to talk and responses were heartfelt but actions speak louder than words and it wasn't adding up. I was powerless due to her being 17 at the time. Uh, after three months of this, more red flags started popping up as the world was opening up again. Pause. Pause. Um, I, think, I think there's probably something going on with the sister. But I don't think that's necessarily OP as like a sister. I, I don't think that's her job to maybe... Um, maybe she should check into it, but if it is becoming too much, maybe 
it's time to go back to her mom's house for the younger sister. Yeah. And remind me, like, was yes. there a specific reason why? Why uh, she was staying she, with. Yeah. That that a specific reason in the vein of like, oh, the mom is not fit to care for her. Or was it just like, oh, I'll just go. Yeah. So she was working night shift at a factory two hours away and wanted to move closer. And I don't think that OP's sister wanted to move closer. The so, mom. The mom was working the. The mom was doing it. Right, yes. Right, right. Yes. Got you. Okay. Uh, and so she moved into um, OP's house, presumably for like, you know. It was easier to go to it's school like logistical there. Reasons. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, but I think that I think first it does seem like OP did already try to set, like check out therapy and stuff. Yeah. Um, maybe she needs the sister needs more accountability. Um, but it, it really is dependent on whether OP has enough um, bandwidth to give that accountability and make sure that her sister is, you know. Uh, taking care of herself yeah i think i agree it could possibly be too large a task for op yeah. to take on not not that that should um enable her to no. shame or punish her for potentially something that could be gone i mean you know yeah. adolescence you know things happen um but um but um after three months of this more red flags started popping up as the world was opening up again I would wake up multiple times a night to slapping belt sounds, moaning, <gasps> hearing her say daddy and thumping on my bedroom wall. Nobody was there, by the way. Oh, dear. What? Oh, oh, my. Content? Uh, since her bed was on the wall, my bedroom was, if that makes sense. I would talk to her about it, asking to stop or wait until we aren't in the house. Because our sleep was interrupted and I don't need or want to know about her spicy sleep endeavors. Every time I would try to converse with her, simply asking how she feels, she would get upset and slam her bedroom door. After being expelled from high school in March for, what's another word that we could say? Um, uh, substance. Substance abuse. It got worse. I couldn't first force her to do anything and mom advised me not to and CPS didn't respond to my help with her behavior. I was helpless since her behavior got worse and I didn't have any leverage worth to try and make her understand. Multiple events happened after her working full time uh, due to her being expelled from school. And I was still trying, uh, still there trying to get her to see what this could do to her future. The next one was my last straw. In May, mom called Ariana saying that there was an unusual amount in her bank account and asked how it got there. Remembering a past conversation that I thought was a joke, I muted mom and asked, who is the sugar daddy? Oh. Oh, okay. So right now what we know is that the 17 year old uh, or the younger sister is making a lot of bad choices. Yep. And she just got a large sum of money a in her account. Money. Yeah. I think that before we move on, I think that maybe this is too big of a job for OP. Yes. Yes. I think that this is yeah. 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 I mean I I mean it, I think OP would have been 22 if um her younger or yeah, if her younger sister was oh no, sorry, 20 if her younger sister was 17 at that time. So that's that's, that's too big. That's a, that's a lot. Yeah. Defer defer to mom on yeah, that. Yeah, just say hey, like mom, I think I don't think I can take care of my sister anymore. That's here. so big that it's probably yeah. even going to be a massive challenge for mom, but at least yeah. like in the response hierarchy, like yeah. that is mom's child. So it's And also like, OP is saying like, she's not listening to anything that I say. Yeah. And there's probably also the dynamic of like, you're not my mom. Uh, like you can't boss me around. You're yes. my sister. Uh, so yeah, I think this is too big a job. Oh my. At 17 years old, two months of it into 18, she started talking to a guy on Snapchat and by oh, two months from being 18, she started talking to a guy on Snapchat and by just conversing with him, he would send her money, but she had to send part of the money to some other person. Clearly fraud here, but she didn't care because in the end she was getting money too. After talking about her to try to get more info, conclusion was that Ariana put us in danger due to her greed. He has personal information like my address, my real name, and my partner's real name. And she just gave that to him. No <gasps> questions asked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's uh, going to get OP, like, arrested. Yeah, this is 
so bad. This is really dangerous. Oh. Oh, boy. We called CPS to inform them of the situation, and they advised us to call the police to report all this fraud, and we had to get her phone and computer computer to limit the damage. She became outraged and threw things in her room after locking herself into it. In a matter of minutes, all while we were on call with the police, she came out of her room, went into the cabinet, cabinet to take some of her prescribed medicine for sleeping and ADHD that I was giving in her hands due to past mistakes. And she went back to lock herself in her room. Ooh, this is not good. My partner and I got up and ran to where I kept the key, opened up the door, and there she was taking her sleeping medication. A lot of it. She was ready to take in nine times her usual dose. Ah, The police heard everything and were on their way. They brought her to the hospital. And even if she was psychologically cleared after that, my partner and I refused to have her come back to our house. Yeah. And I never accepted uh, being left alone with her. And there is more to this story. But just slight pause. I definitely think this is yeah. so outside yeah. of the scope of her being able to. Handle yeah. The even at 25, because I think this is still back in time from where we are in, you know, at the end right. of the story. Yeah. Um, like she, OP's like now 25. Yeah. OP's now 25. I think. And this takes place when uh, OP is about 20. Yeah. Uh, even at 25, this would be a lot to handle. It's so, and, and again, it's yeah. like the, the hierarchy of responsibility is like, okay, mom gives birth to kid. Mom is therefore yeah. responsible. So it's like, yeah. ultimately, it's like, hey, mom, th- this is ultimately your responsibility. Yeah. To- and it's like, I was okay. I was okay living with her and helping her out when it, when she was cool with it. Yeah, when and it was when she was okay. You know, reasonable situation yeah, situation but now that that has changed drastically i do not have the bandwidth to yeah. support oh boy um yeah uh was this an okay story time this submission is okay story time. so op is literally part of our family yes uh and i'm so sorry i had to go through hearts that. in the chat yeah. for op and also if you're if, if you're, you're watching here. this episode yeah let us let us know give, give yeah. us an update in the comments well or there's something. there's more to this story we still, we, we're not done. Whoa. Weeks later, she turned 18 and went independent. My partner and I still helped her if she needed money, lifts, and ta- uh, talking. I again hinted to therapy, doctors for her outbursts, mental health, and dangerous decisions and behavior. She always agreed, but never did anything. That's, I think at that point, like, a, a person who is, especially a young person who is kind of feeling a little bit maybe out of control with their life and not knowing how to deal with it. They need a lot more accountability, which is not, I don't think OP's um, responsibility, but I don't think that just saying, Hey, you need to go to therapy for this person is going to. Is going to work. Yeah. yeah it's going to take more like the, the mom should, should really step taking, in yes. and be like, okay, we're, we're like, I'm going to be here and, and support you. Yeah. But part of that is like, therapy is mandatory yes. basically yeah. yeah like you can live with me i'm gonna pay for you uh, but i'm gonna every i don't know thursday i'm driving you to therapy and i wonder if yeah. i don't know what the i don't know where they're at i don't know what the laws look like as far as that's concerned but i wonder if you do take someone to uh to i guess kind of kind of get a like a legal diagnosis what that kind of yeah. looks like if there's a it Almost like a prescription like, yeah. of psychi uh, of, of psychiatrist. But I don't know what yeah. that looks like. No, I don't know either. All. But uh, it says that they took her to the hospital in the earlier. T- uh, yes. thing that, and she was psychologically cleared. So, so as yeah. in like she's there's not any major. Yeah, in which she could be admitted for something. I see. Okay, presumably. So, got yeah. you. So maybe that actually isn't a yeah on the table. Yeah. Okay. Um, during her weeks in the CPS foster group home, we would converse and I learned that she's actually very manipulative and she turned me against her then partner and friend and vice versa. I at the time was scared, but also upset to be portrayed as a villain after what I had done for her. Yeah. Nonetheless, I was available and helped her still. And then in December of 2022, she was going out with a boy on and off over the last couple of weeks. Every time she would be on, she would try to cut ties with us family out of her life saying we don't understand how she feels he's the love of her life and he's perfect and we are the problem in her life really quick i i would love to see a poll um do you cut cut contact or or not yeah i'm I'm curious to 
I I mean, I think it's really hard because that is OP's sister, who it does seem like she did have a good relationship before this. And it seems like her sister is kind of spiraling. Yeah. Um, which is really scary to watch as like your sibling going down that path and wanting to help them and just not knowing how. I yeah, I, I don't think I would either, but it is No, but I, I understand what you're saying. It's yeah. Like, at it's, what point is it affecting you? It's a very tough too much. It's a very tough yeah. situation. I yeah, I, I don't think I would at this point necessarily, yeah. but probably Probably being very intentional and probably limiting a lot of areas of yes. communication. Yes. Not going full no contact yet, but like, okay, I'm keeping not... Keeping an eye on it. Keeping an eye on and it. And also checking sure. in with yourself. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, making sure or just asking yourself whether or not it's healthy for you to be in that situation anymore. And just maybe allowing if the time comes where she does come to you and apologize and, you know, as that moment allowing yourself to be there then and maybe not yeah you know i think it's also tough because it's like if they were like both in their like 30s it's like okay you're you are reasonably responsible for yourself but she's right at that age where it's like that line of like self-responsibility versus like family kind of like she's she's at the end nearing the end of that she's in a gray area yeah as far as like are we still like basically fully taken care of or is she like on her own i don't know it's yeah or like uh, or should should they be fully taken care of yeah. like, like that kind of thing yeah yvette uh eiler says don't cut contact but cut support which i think i mm. think that could be interesting a possibility yeah. um but where was i after weeks of this gaslighting and victimizing and that i'm mad at her and don't understand i popped off I basically told her, stop your crap, and when you have a problem, stop blaming people around you and actually look for solutions. Stop blaming us for your problems. If you you prefer living like this, then F it. She responds, she needs time. I respond, I'm tired of helping you, being told off for my time and efforts that I'm putting in towards you. I'm tired of being talked to as if I'm stupid and unimportant. When you finally realize what you have, stop taking everything and everyone for granted and getting upset when we tell you life advice and giving you help, then my door is open. In the meantime, hope you have the time of your life. I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's very fair. D- directly communicating everything that yeah. does need to be said yeah, in the hopes the that it that finally change. gets gets through and clicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, especially because you're not a parent that has, like, a financial responsibility. Uh, Yeah, I think you have to protect yourself first. Yeah, OP doesn't deserve that burden of responsibility. Yeah, I I, I don't think so. From the grapevines, mostly mom, I've learned that the past couple of years was rough for her, but the pattern stayed the same. Mom would engage in conversation with me, uh, and then to her, responses were along the lines of, I don't talk to my sister because she's mad at me. I need her and want to talk to her because I need it, but she's mad at me. My response to that is she still doesn't get it. Uh, And now in July of 2024, Ariana doesn't know where to live. I live. I've changed cars since, so she doesn't know what I drive. I've asked mom to not tell her about me and not surprise me. And I hope and trust my mom respects my feelings since she understands how much I've been hurt. I'm now clearly uh, showing signs of PTSD and events at work proved me, uh, proved that to me and not being able to eliminate this lingering amount of rage inside me makes me feel like I'm not ready. Mom has been talking to me about her and the conclusion is that she has changed and now feels guilt and is actually seeking professional assistance, which is progress. I've honestly grown curious. Maybe I want to measure how better, uh, how much better I am. Maybe I want to test myself and see if I'll break down in a panic attack. A panic attack. Maybe I want to see if she actually made progress or even I want to know to better prepare myself for p- uh, possible future casualties. I'm not sure. So do I reach out and see if she's made progress even after all she put me through? Wow. Oh, that's, yeah. Well, OP, once again, yeah. thank you for sending thank in you for sharing your, your story. story. Yeah. Um, 
I think that it, just kind of hearing that last part, it might seem that it might still be too much. Bro, I think I think based off of OP saying, you know, I'm having panic attacks, mm -hmm. I have a PTSD. Iffy. I think that you, it doesn't sound like you're fully ready. Um, in which case, I don't think that you should rush it. Yeah. Because hopefully, the longer you you know take or the you know, time you like take to recuperate and get better the better that your sister becomes it's like the it's like uh the yeah. reward at the end of the road of progress it gets she, continuously she better. keeps getting better better yeah. better better and then finally it's like hey the reward is we have now re yes. are rebuilding our relationship at the exactly end of it. And, exactly and i think that you know op at such a young age did really try yeah. you know uh, absolutely to, to help and that i can't even imagine being at 20 like yeah, doing trying that, to do that much. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot, and yeah, you know, uh, I think that the sister caused real like real damage, real damage. Yeah, um, and it is very, very much okay for OP to take her time and, and work on herself. I'm, I'm. It does seem that things all are trending in a positive direction, which it is does good. Seem so, which is good, yeah. and hopefully, it kind of continues on that path. But maybe, maybe tell mom like, hey. I need to wait until I'm ready, yes. but hopefully just do everything in, in our collective powers to keep sister on the yeah. road to better. And maybe she's just growing and maturing and realizing that this is what she needs to do, which is yeah. great if that's true. Yeah, No, I agree with all of that. I think the yeah, take the time that you need. I yeah. think that's the advice. Don't rush yourself. And if you need, you know, we have a wonderful community in the yes. subreddit r slash story. Okay, story time. Oh. Wonderful community in the Discord. Wonderful community on the streams. Um, well, I'm sure also have uh, great advice as well. Absolutely. So, um, guys, go go give OP some love. Um, OP, if you see this in the episode, feel free to comment, give us any updates and whatnot. Um, yes. But again, thanks for sharing thanks for your story. Sharing your story. Hearts in the chat. Yeah. Hearts in the chat. And with that. I think we have more. We do have more. For this episode. We do have another story. Ladies and gentlemen, is this the last one of the episode, Riley? It is. Here we go. My sister's fiance went through my drawers, so I put a lock on him. Honestly, lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock, lock, lock them him up. up. <laughs> and yeah. lock your drawers. Double locked up. Mm -hmm. And this is to answer the question, how do you deal with high maintenance family members and it comes from present leading 373 who says my sister and her fiance moved in with my parents and i a couple of weeks ago oh some backstory they're not the tidiest people and don't clean up after themselves their last lease wasn't extended and they hadn't really bothered looking for places to move into they just assumed that they could move in in the meantime while they were trying to find somewhere they smoke a lot of grass <laughs> and both don't work. Do we poll? Poll. Uh, let them move in or not. I'm like, they both don't work. They're super messy. They're just, they're just Hot. lighting up all day. <laughs> Sounds like Sounds terrible. Like they, yeah, they don't sound like good house guests. House live like living part co living. What, what do we yeah. call it? Co living part roommates. roommates. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. We got there one morning when everyone was out, uh, and my dad had just been in the shower. He had walked past my room and found my sister's fiance in there, going through my drawers, saying things like, "I just want to find some of sister's underwear." What? Um, if you're like me, I don't just keep underwear in my underwear drawer. Put money in there. Oh. <laughs> I was like... I thought you were saying that you, you kept your underwear other places. No, no, no. No, they're there, but I keep like other valuables. There. I thought I thought that was going in a whole other different yeah, direction. Yeah, I was really confused. Oh, um, no, dude, that's w what people do. Don't you put like jewelry and no, money? No, my jewelry and... is... Yeah, I have no out valuables. Of the open. <laughs> I have... I so have someone can come and steal it. Yeah, but it's not that valuable. Well, and psych on and you guys. And I don't keep cash, so. You don't keep cash? No. What's going to happen yeah, whenever. Yeah, you freaking millennial. What's going to happen whenever everything shuts down? We're going to barter, man. Yeah. What's cash going to do? Sophia can cook. Yeah. I can I've got skills. fight. <laughs> to the no, death. you can't. You didn't do the yes. volley training. <laughs> you can't fight. Find <laughs> another skill. I'll attack. <laughs> I'll fight Christian today. 
We were we were about to tussle earlier. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were. Tussle. Yeah, we were about to throw down. Anyways, I yeah. I digress. Oh wait, so let me make sure I got this clear. So basically, when uh, Dad was in the shower, he the sister's fiance, the sister's fiance, going through my drawer, saying he needed to find some of basically his fiance's underwear no i think what happened of is sister's underwear as in op's underwear because i was just trying to find some of sister's underwear this is sister's fiance oh what? so so okay so i think he I, was like uh i thought her underwear was in your drawer yes exactly sorry exactly it'd be like it'd be like uh, uh going through riley's drawer and being yeah. like i need to find some of john's underwear i need uh, i need to find it's like my underwear is not in riley's drawer bro you're Super high at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. You oh, another great point. High. This is so layered, it's like an yeah. ogre. Um, when my dad <laughs> told me, I felt completely violated and upset because my personal space had been entered with my stuff rummaged through. Absolutely. I asked for locks to be put on the doors. I have quite a bit of expensive jewelry, clothes, and electronics in my room. So to uh, to to big proteins point, yeah, that's that's totally true. Um, we haven't, dude. We haven't said big protein in the longest time because they, they already know. We got to keep the nickname alive, though. They already know, you know what I mean. My sister and her fiance are super offended at the locks being put onto the because they can't get into your stuff, guys. Whenever someone is offended that locks are being put on the doors, the most massive red flag possibly humanly imaginable. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because I want to put locks on the outside of John's office door, and he's uh, he gets upset about it, and that's a red flag to me. I would love a lock on my door. We no, have I no would. Lock. Lock. It's from the outside, so like you get in there, and I lock you in there. Is that actually how it works? That my version, yeah. <laughs> so you you want to lock me in, and I won't I won't let it happen, huh? You can lock me in. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, um, they're hurt. And feel like they're not trusted. And and the fiance is under the impression that we think he is a creep. They think how I reacted is all uncalled for. What is wrong with you? They're like, we feel like you don't trust us and you think that we're creepy. And Opie's like, Because I yeah. don't trust you and you're <laughs> and I creepy. Think you're creepy. Yes, yes. <laughs> You've nailed it. You, you, yeah. you got it. <laughs> um, am I actually the a-hole for being upset? And wanting a lock on my door, the fiance reckons he only did it without letting me know because he felt like we were family, even though my own family wouldn't have rummaged through my drawers. Absolutely. Like, dude, there is no reason yeah. for your family to go through your, your stuff. Your stuff. Like, it's yeah. just, it's just. Uh. How old is OP? So, um, the age breakdowns. Yeah, what's what's that? Is unknown. Is it in like far. the title, like the, the yeah? I'm looking at the titles. Title? Nope, it's not in the title. Yeah, um, we don't have any any ages. Beyonce uh, age. So above eighteen. Oh. Okay. Well, hey, we 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 don't know. <laughs> Like Maybe uh, you can get married earlier than 18 with your um, parents' approval. I all think. right, fine. When do you learn to read and write? <laughs> when? <laughs> when do you learn to read and write? Yes. It's like a freaking like, five-year-old or whatever. All right. We know that they're at least five. <laughs> five and above. We don't even five know that above. they can read. <laughs> Someone wrote this. Okay, fine. <laughs> They didn't though. Unless she just she just uh, told it to someone and they wrote it. Yeah, yeah I was thinking, oh my god, um, <laughs> transcribed. Uh, but yeah, this is like yeah. the fact. Like I, I just, oh, I just, just don't understand why they're arguing about the locks. It makes my skin crawl and blood boil when people are like, "Oh, you don't trust me yeah. by putting the locks on." It's like, what are you talking about? Like the reason I'm putting the locks on is because you betrayed my trust, and also, why do you want to get in there anyway? Literally, no one should care. Yeah, it like, shouldn't affect you at all. Oh, I'm putting a lock on my own door. I'm putting a lock on my own like personal items. Hey, hey, Sophia. Yeah. Um, Listen, you listening. put locks on your car. I did. I locked it. And you know what? I am so offended. It's because I think you're untrustworthy and a creep. You know, <laughs> Sophia, sometimes I want to take your car and and just steal it. <laughs> but you know what you're doing, Sophia? I'm locking my You car. are preventing me from stealing yeah. your car. How dare you? 
You're right. I, I thought you trusted me. I am the a-hole. And I just want to sometimes steal your car. I just want to do it sometimes. Shouldn't there be trust for people who want to steal other people's cars? Yeah. Shouldn't there be? I think you're right. And Amen. I'm going gonna, gonna to not lock my car from now on. Amen, sister. You know what? Actually, last night, Christian moved my car and he didn't lock it. Go beat his booty cheeks <laughs> right him. now. Get him. Let's get him. I, I went into my car and I realized that I forgot my key in my bag. Like yeah. I, I hadn't put my key in my bag. Uh, but I didn't realize it until I was in my car. And I was like, how did I get into my car? And then I was like, yeah. Another reason that I'm going to. So, update 16 hours later, by the way. Um, also, Riley, what was, the, what was the result of her poll? Nah, don't let him move in. I, if they're adult children about to get married, I'm sorry. If you, if you are uh, responsible enough to get married, you're responsible enough to both live, figure out a living situation together that doesn't impede on parents. Unless I'm you're sorry. five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, even if you're like in your early 20s or something like that, if you're going to behave like this, not work, be a total slob, all this stuff, you, you don't just get to like move in and do whatever you want. Anyways, I digress. On to the update. Thank you, everyone, for making me feel like I wasn't going crazy here. Yes, OP, you are not. This would also drive me insane. They've decided to move out to a friend's place. They didn't feel comfortable in the house anymore. Go figure. Insert biggest eye roll here. Dad didn't immediately kick them out as he was in shock about the whole situation too and wanted to protect his other daughter as well, but is happy they are going after thinking everything through. Also, thank you to everyone for the English lessons. Um, with my accent, uh, draw and drawers both sound the same. I'm from across the pond and haven't replied to anything because of the time difference. Um, and we do have some relevant comments to close us out. Um, and Akila Q says, not the a-hole. I mean, if my father caught my sister's fiance going through my drawers and panties, he would have probably kicked his ass out because that's creepy. Correct. Um, I would also get locks. And when they say their feelings are hurt, I would laugh in their faces and say too bad. Also correct. But that's just me. He crossed major boundaries and is a creep. The audacity of them being hurt. It's comical dummies. This whole comment. Um, and Weeble Wobble J says, not the a-hole. I don't know if anyone, uh, I don't know anyone in your house. And I can confirm 100% that he was absolutely not looking for his sister's undergarments. He is a creep. And I hope your parents support you and look, uh, and look to getting him out of the house and away from you. I've read so many stories on this website that have escalated cameras in the bedroom slash bathroom, etc. Stay safe, mate. And guys, we're live right now. Tap the profile and join if you want to freaking hang with us while we read these stories. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm kind of wondering, to be honest, if you keep doing your thing. Um, I'm kind of wondering. Wonder away. Riley, you're, you're a father. Okay. You're a father. Yes. And uh, you're an old father. Ooh. Big congratulations. Your, uh, your, your sister, your daughter, sorry, is getting married to this guy. This guy living with you under your roof goes through your other daughter's drawer, undergarment drawer. What are we doing, Riley? We're not having it. I'm kicking him out immediately. No questions. Asked. Maybe, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll buy keep... the shirt collar. I'm just like, you're done. Yeah, maybe my two daughters. I'm like, hey, you can at a minimum, the the daughter who is engaged with this guy mm -hmm. stay for now. You know, we'll figure it out that that. That we can have, you know, way more time and due process and kind of figuring out a solution there. Mm -hmm. This guy kicked out immediately. And I'm kind of like, I think I might be sitting down with my daughter and being like, listen. Oh, yeah. This guy was going through your sister's drawer, being a complete creep, violating her personal boundaries. Like, I don't know if you outright say, like, don't marry this guy or whatever. But I think you had a minimum lay out like, hey. Let me make sure you're understanding what actually yes. happened here, because it feels like she was kind of on board with the fiance of like, oh, you know, why are you doing this to us? Like, why don't you trust us? It's like, no, this is this is insane. Why aren't you angry at him? Yeah, I would be furious. And for my own part, like, because that's my daughter and yes. I want her to be safe. And he I don't even have he doesn't even feel safe in my own home. 
right? That's a big Is he going to go cheat on her? Is he going to, uh, you know, not just do something worse than cheating on her? I mean, there's there's so many, I feel like, rabbit holes, terrible, terrible, terrible rabbit holes that this could fall into. I feel like as the dad, at least sitting down and being like, hey, I just need to tell you up front, this guy is a creep. And yeah. I don't know if this is good. Um, I ultimately think, you know, you can't you can't control what your uh, children do, especially your adult children at that. Um, we're assuming they're adults because they're <laughs> so they're not five years old. That's what we're assuming. Yeah. Could be five. We don't know. Um, <laughs> but to say? We have no ages. But um, yeah, I think you sit down and tell them what's what. I know you were uh, deep in yeah. Burrito Land. Um, yes. But yeah. if you caught any of that and have any thoughts. Um... I think they sound creepy and that what exactly happened at the end? So so basically <laughs> um we we were just in short. We were going through the hypothetical sure. of if you are the parent. Yes. of these uh two daughters. Yeah. And this guy is, you know, engaged to one but going through the drawer of the other, what do you do? I just I think I would kick them out of Yeah, I would be like you're not you can't stay here. Kick him out immediately. Yeah, I would kick out the the fiance because that's not, yes, you know, yeah, fiance easily kick them out. Say hey, you can't be here. And then the the daughter probably have a sit. You know, take take time that that's your daughter at the end of uh, uh, yeah. After all, at the end of the day, take time on like figuring out what the appropriate solution is there. But at least sitting down with her and like being like, yo, this guy is. Well, I think I think what they could say is, hey, I can't stop you from talking mm. to him. Yes. Like that is your fiance. Yep. Um, and you can proceed with your relationship however you wish. Um, but this is my roof yes. and my home and I have to protect your sister. Yes. Uh, and when someone is being creepy around her, I'm not going to let that slide. So he is not welcome in our house. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's, you're still welcome, but like your fiance is not. Yeah. At this time. hundred yeah. percent. Could even question for you. Do you even go so far as to say like, um, like long term, I don't want because also she's not working. Yeah, you know, smoking all the time, a, a slob. Are you like, hey, I for those reasons I just mentioned, and the fact that I want this fiance as far away from OP as possible. Um, I don't want you living here either long term. Mm, yeah, to create as much basically separation Distance, and, yeah. and barriers and boundaries as yeah. possible. I think that could I think that could be maybe a brooch thing. I think first I would do the just say fiance no. Yeah, kick him out. Um but I guess out. if you if she is of an age where she should be paying rent, then you I think the parents totally have a right to say, Hey, you can't live here for free anymore. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Is that the is that it? That's it. Wow. Guys, I'm so sorry. This is the end of the episode. We yeah. have literally nothing more to give you. Nothing else. That's it. So if you love us, make sure to subscribe. We love you. And, and see you tomorrow. tomorrow.